everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be using these madam glam gel polishes i've got rosy nude foggy night and grand canyon um, if you don't have these exact ones you just want to find a nude uh, a nice christmasy green and a nice christmasy red and then i'm also going to be using the winter wonderland decals i think that's what they're called hang on are they yeah oh no woodland i keep getting it wrong winter woodland decals from nail sugar oh i love them so much um so you can save 30 percent on madam glam using my code natmug30 and 10 percent on nail sugar using my code natmug10 we'll get that out of the way first um so i'm going to start by applying one coat of the color that i want onto my nails so i'm going to do two nails with the rosy nude one nail with the green and then one nail with the red so to do if you're going to do a full set i would probably do three nails of the rosy nude i'd probably do three of those because they're they're quicker nails to do these um the, the red and the green are going to be like tartan so they're going to take a bit longer um if yeah so if you want your client in and out i would do three three of the decal nails okay Right, so you're going to need some water and a stamper and some scissors and we're going to cut out one of these little clusters, I don't know what they are, on the decal sheet. Place that upside down on your stamper, dab the back with some water and then after several seconds the backing will just slide off and you're left with your decal design. Ta -da! I usually dab it just to get off any excess water and then I'm going to stamp this onto the middle of our nail if um sometimes oh no I'll, I don't I'm not going to explain in this video because we don't have to do it so there we go look we stamped it on smack bang in the middle of the nail I'm going to do it again with another kind of one of the designs that looks like a cluster there we go stamp that on and then if you want you can add some more so i decided to take a fur cone and do that we're gonna dab it and then wait for it to yeah the back end's gonna slide off then i'm just gonna add that on here now remember if you apply over the top of the decal you, you it probably won't stick you want to stick it somewhere where there's some um you know a bit of the tacky layer so it will stick on I just wanted to make the cluster a little bit bigger and then on the other nail i decided to use a bit of i don't know it looks like a sprig is that what you call it a sprig i decided to just to fluff it out a little bit you don't have to you could just use one decal on each nail it's it's not do what you like or what your client likes there we go i'm gonna leave them like that then i am going to be using my madam glam gold gel paint i'm just going to give it a oh no i'm not before we do that i'm going to use the velvet matte top coat i want to seal these decals in so i'm going to velvet matte top coat these i love madam glam's velvet matte top coat it's so nice also if i'm going to do nails like if i'm oh, my nails are usually i reckon 85 percent are going to be matte and the other 15 percent are going to be shiny but if you or your client prefers them shiny you do them shiny I'm just going to do the matte because I prefer matte most of the time. There are circumstances where I don't, but that's quite rare. Look, this is Madame Glam's gold gel paint. I absolutely love it. It's blooming gorgeous. I needed to give it a stir. We're going to use... So, this these two nails are supposed to be like... You know, like when you get... Um, this, this gold gel paint is supposed to be like the string of a gift. So, the little... Ro not the rose the the little decal the cluster of the berries and all the flowers and the leaves and stuff is supposed to be like the centerpiece of our of our gift do you know what i mean i, I don't know if that makes sense so this like the the I'm, i've added like a couple of lines they don't have to be completely straight like just sort of two lines so they kind of overlap so it looks like i've done my parcel up with string i don't know if it's I don't know if if you get that vibe from the nail, but that's 
what I was kind of going for. But yeah, that's it really. I'm going to do the same thing on this nail because obviously we've got two of these. And remember, if you're doing an our client, you make sure you, you want to do a third nail, otherwise they'll look silly with four nails. Oh, well, your nails are nice. Why didn't you get that, that one done? Oh, I don't know. Just, you know, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Although it's me, like me, I walk around with only one hand done. If I do my nails, when I say, oh, I've done my nails, I've literally only done one hand because my right hand never has anything on it. Unless I'm doing gel polish. But it, it like, I never, I, I always, yeah, I very rarely do my right hand. Because I'm, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I just don't bother. <laughs> anyway, right, the... The gel paints need 60 seconds in an LED lamp. Actually, so do their gel polishes now, so it wouldn't make any difference. Um, right, on the for the tart nails, I am gonna do like right, I'm gonna do a line, but it's gonna be a double line, and I'm trying to make this super fine. So I'm using my nail sugar nap mug detailer brush. You these aren't available anymore, uh, unfortunately, but you can get some really good fine light like, like fine liner brushes probably on Amazon or if you have a, a, a brand that you like using they will often have you know nail art brushes so you, you know I think Madame Glam do I don't know how fine their fine brushes is so I can't remember anyway um so can you see I'm adding lines but I'm adding like two lines to make one line does that make sense like that I'm gonna do that all the way over the nail so we'll, we'll keep going and then once we've done all of those going that way we're then gonna go at like a 90 degree is it 90 degrees I think it is we're gonna go like in the opposite direction and again we're gonna do like a double a double line now these don't have to be like mine weren't like look that's not neat at all I mean it's kind of neat ish but it's not they were a bit wobbly but it you know I in the end it doesn't really matter so for the next part I'm gonna mix a little bit of base coat in with a little bit of black gel polish like start with a very small bit of black gel polish because a lot of the time I end up putting too much on and it's like too much so I end up using like masses of base coat but mix a little bit of the black in with the base coat and then every other square we're gonna fill in so you want to do you want a like a, a fill a shaded square miss miss a square and then do a shaded square and you want to do that in all the directions I think, I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see. You will see how many I fill in on this video. So yeah, you'll get what I mean. I'm really cold. I'm highly tempted to put my heating on, but I don't know. Right, pop those in the lamp to cure. Then we're going to top coat this. So far, so good. Again, I'm matte top coating them. Then using the gold gel paint, so Madame Glam's gel paints don't have a tacky layer, so you can use these to add detail onto top coated nails, which I really love. Sometimes I find that they, because they, they leave, they'll they'll cure a bit shiny. So I, and I sometimes like, if I've done like, particularly like this design, if I've done a matte nail, I quite often like the shiny of the gel paint on the top just to add detail does that make sense so we are going through the center of each of our thicker lines like between the skinny lines that we've done see like that see i think that looks really nice pop that in the lamp for a 60 second cure and then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the green nail and it will look something like this my squares are a little bit more far apart on the, on the green one as you can tell right this is the white gel paint i'm just going to use a dotting tool to add some little i mean i don't know if these are stars or if they were going to be snow like literally look look how small this was i thought yeah this could be little bits of snow but then i make the top and the bottom line a bit bigger so it's more like a star now so i don't know i don't know what it's going to be i'm just going to do like that that much detail on each of them i'm not going to overdo it just like little so this in my head this was supposed to be like tartan gift wrap but i mean it, it could just be a tartan now i don't know and then you can as i said before these gel paints don't have a tacky layer so you can cure that and they will be left a little bit shiny but i haven't cured mine yet i'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of clear acrylic powder you want to wait for the gel paint to suck up that acrylic powder you'll know once it's finished sucking up the gel paint that the, the acrylic 
powder because it won't go shiny. Sometimes when you do that, if you leave it about five seconds and then have a look at the design again, sometimes you've got shiny patches. That means you just need to add some more acrylic. But once you're happy, pop it in a lamp, brush off the excess acrylic powder, and that is the finished set. I'll show you a close-up. There we go. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Websites and discount codes will be below. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.